How did you get into film? As a child, I was always very eccentric and bubbly and outgoing. I used to make music videos with my brother for this super duper awesome band that we had together. And I had the childhood mentality of like, I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna be a superstar. And that didn't really take me anywhere. So as I got into high school, I really didn't know what I was doing. And you know your guidance counselor is always like, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And you're like, eh, I don't know. So I went into an engineering class, realized that I hated it. It was literally the worst two years of my life. And I needed something to fill that slot. So I randomly chose this class called telecommunications. Basically, I went to a television station for the school and I took classes there and they taught me everything that I know about film before I came into Full Sail. I made my own videos, I was hosting television shows, I was directing television shows, I was running sports events, I, could, I did a lot of things there and I loved it. Sweet, that sounds very interesting. Um, how did telecommunications drive you to films and not television? Well, I grew up watching more films than I did television, and television was really good and I loved it, and hopefully maybe I'll go back to it someday, but films always fascinated me more. Like I loved all of like the timing and preparation that went into it, and I feel like it would just be a bigger experience. Just television, just huge. So it's like this one little tiny TV show stretched out into a huge movie, and it would be so much fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, how did you decide to go to Full Sail? Actually, my telecommunications teacher, his daughter, went to Full Sail University. And one day she came back to visit, and I just literally picked her brain about everything about the school. Any question that I could possibly think of, because I'd heard of it, but I really didn't know that much about it. And I loved that she was doing really well, she's really successful, she's doing films and like TV shows every like single week. And I figured because she would have had a positive experience about it and I had the same passion as her, maybe if I went to the school that would give me the hands-on experience that I needed, it would give me the same positive outcome into this world. How has your time at Full Sail been so far? My time at Full Sail has been really fun. I love being on production sets because that was the one thing that I missed from telecom. So having that come over into Full Sail just makes me feel so much better about the great hands-on experience that I'm getting here. Okay, cool. Um, what are your thoughts so far about the film industry? My thoughts about the film industry are interesting because I love the industry. But I know that I'm going to have a lot of hardships just because I'm a woman. A lot of men are just going to belittle me because of that. Fair enough. Um, what do you want to do in this industry? <sighs> That's a tough question. I don't have everything narrowed down yet, but I really like Group Electric, mostly the electric portion. I'm not really good at the lighting yet, but I'm still learning and it's really interesting to learn but I'm trying to get more experience with the first AD and second AD because being an assistant director is just really fascinating to me. Okay cool so as of right now who do you think you are? Honestly does anybody know the answer to that question? Uh, because you're determined uh stubborn you see something the way you see it and that's the way it's going to be uh, you're eccentric you're very passionate about what you do you want to you see something and you want other people to see it the same way that you want to see it and I think that would be portrayed in any of the films or movies or anything you work on like there's so many things that you could be you could love one thing and want to be something one day and then a week later, you want to be something entirely different. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I know exactly who I am. I'm a filmmaker. I may not be a big name that everybody knows, but I will forever always be a filmmaker.